recording is done. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Okay, so about 10 minutes. Hi, it's Hannah again, and while the cream puffs are in the oven, we're going to be making our ganache and whipped cream after this. So, first we're going to turn on the heat. Start it on. Just a nice little and we're going to take equal parts of chocolate chips, I'm working with these today, and heavy cream. And so we're going to do a fourth cup. And use a dry measuring cup for both, because you want equal parts. Stop, stop. <laughs> Hi, it's Hannah again. And while the cream puffs are in the oven, we're going to make our ganache and whipped cream. So let's turn on the stove. It's nice of here. And we want it to be equal parts chocolate chips and whipping cream. And so we're going to be using a dry measure. For both, so it's equal parts. It's a little weird. Not using a measuring cup. Okay, so we're gonna warm this up. And so, with the same measuring cup, we're gonna get the full cup of chocolate. Chip. In a bowl. No sugar needs to be added to this. Okay, so while we're warming this up, we're going to go check on the cream puffs. Okay, they look puffed up. And now, so we're going to reduce the temperature. Our golden brown and have a nice crust. And so while while this is heating up, just let it heat up around. And once this is heated up, we're gonna pour this right on some hot chips. Okay. Let me go get it. This is heated up nicely. Turn the heat off right away. Can you talk a little louder? Right away, pour it onto the chocolate chips. And these chocolate chips normally start melting right away when you pour the whip. Open. So you just go ahead and stir it until it's nicely incorporated. So when it, it's just about when it's too much to cook, it's not like the roses and some bubbles. Seven points. 